quite tragically, my OBS didn't record the audio for this part. One of the more important parts I wish I had audio for. Um, yeah, but in this part, we're working on the indicator. And uh, once again, we need to copy the base mesh because we want to use the uh, shape we made here and we want the reflections to follow from the panel to the indicator. So I just made a new um, a collection and I just called it lights so that we could put the uh, headlights and the rear lights all in the same collection later just for uh, organization's sake. But yeah, we just copied it, renamed it to indicator and then um, yeah, I just started cutting out everything else um, that I didn't need. And I just used a knife tool to get a clean cut at the top, and then uh, at the bottom I just lined it up um, by hand. So after a bit more fiddling to get the right shape, I realized that I needed a much tighter uh, angle at the bottom. So I went back into the base mesh, and then <coughs> I just hid that point uh, so I didn't infect it. And I also hid the wheel arch so I didn't change the shape of that. And then I put in this edge loop and brought it down to make as sharp of as, as a point as I could make. Um, and then after this, I just did the same thing on the uh, indicator object itself and it looked great. And then here afterwards, I just made the bottom flat um, by extruding this part in. Uh, and then I made a vertex group to uh, make sure that the bottom, the entire bottom, wasn't affected by the shrink wrap. So after a bit more tweaking, I added in a solidify modifier, uh, and then I brought in the top and the sides all together, and I just removed that entire section from the vertex group, uh, which makes it come back cleaner. And then at the bottom, I tried to uh, add a uh, some quad, sorry, some some edge loops to tighten it up. And then I turned down the overall solidify from 0.003 to 0 0.002 uh, because it was looking a bit uh, bloated and thick, the glass, and uh, it just wasn't a good look. Um, and then now I'm, I selected the inner loop of vertices and I am uh, making them into a different object just by sh duplicating it and then pressing P to separate the object. Uh, and then what I did was I just faced it up uh, to create a, a back part of the casing, and then, um, yeah, I just run through that really quickly. And then now uh, I try to create the uh, actual indicator itself. So I add two edge loops here. Um, and then I select the faces from it, and then I uh, I go into edge only mode so that I can select the outline. Uh, so I'm not extruding an entire box. And I bring it back, scale it in, uh, create the little lip. Um, and then after I create the lip, I create the second set of glass for the indicators on the inside. And then afterwards, uh, that's pretty much it. I did scale it. Uh, up vertically a bit and just tweak the shape uh, to look a bit better. Uh, and then uh, I'll show you another part that I did after this uh, sped up part. See, so yeah, right here, I thought I would give you guys a quick look at what it would look like with materials, um, which, uh, you know, they look good. I'll show you guys um, more of this later. Um, I just didn't want, like, uh, you know, after you model something with a glass casing that you can't even see, uh, that you don't have like a short little sneak peek uh, into, uh, uh, you know, what it actually looks like. So then I added that there just so I could, that little edge loop in the middle, just so I could select only the uh, front faces. I moved that out uh, because the casing was uh, bigger than I expected. Um, and then afterwards I went in and I moved that corner on the top out as well. Um, uh, just looked a lot cleaner, and then I balanced the rest of it out to fit, and then uh, I, that's pretty much the finished result that I'm pretty happy with, and with materials, it looks uh, pretty amazing. Um, but yeah, this is indicator done. I'm sorry that it was so sped up in this format, it's just I lost the audio, and it's really tough for me to, um, you know, dub over, you know, a 20 minute recording, so I hope this is fine. If there's anything in this video that you don't understand, or you need to be slowed down, 
uh, just let me know and I can try and help you.